Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Imperator, where we are currently ticking on forward. We are, of course, working on settling Aquitania. We did just get an oratory advance, and that is magnificent. We already have Hypocost. Okay, uh, what do we have down over here? Right, we were going towards, like, a Patrocinium. Sure, that seems fine. I'm just checking to make sure that there's nothing over here, and I don't see anything immediately. So that's absolutely fine. We would grab this for the Tyranny Reduction, or in Religious Advances, we are also a little ways away over here. Okay, noted. So either way, we're not going to get a boost to our... Hang on a moment. This is not... Hang on. What, what did I think this was? <laughs> Why did I think that this was going to be a boost to our political power? I don't know. I've got no explanation for this whatsoever. We know that we've got a boost here. And in our civic advances, we've got a boost here. And here. Okay. So our best way to go would be to go down towards Patrocinium for right now. So that is definitely what we'll do next time we get an advance, which will be in a few years. It'll be Patrocinium. Unless we get the event. So that would be great if we did. Now, I was just going around off camera and looking at each of our settlements here. We've got nearly all of these upgraded to cities, and that's really, really good. We've made fantastic progress on that one. I don't want to lose political influence here. We'll gain some tyranny instead. Sure. So this is a settlement here. This is a settlement. This is a settlement. A lot of these, however, are not settlements anymore. This is a settlement. I know this one is... And we're definitely making progress there. The second Legion of Contestania needs a new leader. Okay. So the Legion of Contestania is going to be led by, at this point, who scorned? Oh, okay, perfect. That's absolutely fine. I could have just looked at her traits, but sure. <laughs> I guess that works. So we'll put her in charge there. I'm sure she won't cause any problems whatsoever. We're going to get to work on drilling. Now... We know that we have Loza being turned into a city. We know that we're going to need to build in these locations. We can't do it yet because the provincial loyalty is too low. So there's only so much that we can do there for now. We want to go into our missions. We're going to get settling Aquitania done pretty soon. Developing Aquitania is going to take a bit. Because we need to allow the provincial loyalty to rise up to be, I think, like 33 is what it'll need to be, which is going to be exciting for sure. So Aquitania, Jedi, Maturia, only this one is going down right now. It would go down. Do we want to swap this over to Harsh Treatment and have that come up? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay, cool. So there we go. So we know that we need like four or five of these to be turned into cities. Well, one, two, three, four. I believe there's a... I think that's all of them that's up here. And we know there's like one or two down over this way. So there's a few cities that we need to make, for sure. We do need a new physician, and I probably should have made it be a scorned family, but we'll let them handle it, and they'll lose some prestige. I'm sure they're not going to have any problems with that. So we're going to continue with our pop assimilation speed. Wonderful. And for the time being, that's okay. Let's check in on what cities need construction. Ah, perfect. We can definitely get a library built in our capital. What else do we need? Inkart had Hadasht? Is that how we pronounce that? Hadasht. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. So this needs a slave, or rather a tax office. That's a slave city. So that's fine. It, over in Carton, we are, of course, going to put in a training camp, as that is a manpower city. Fantastic. Okay. So for the time being, that's all of our constructions complete. We do have Senate support right now. Our AE is going to hit zero relatively soon. I'd really like to think about attacking these guys up here. I'm still a little scared by their alliance here. This other alliance I don't care about, or these other alliances I don't care about. This one's a little scary. Yeah, they would be roughly equivalent to us in pop count. So... I don't know. Rome is basically fully occupying these guys over here. We'll see how much Rome ends up taking there. Rome is, of course, going to be a bit of a problem. 
slaves becoming freemen or we get gold. I don't think we need the gold. We'll take the freemen, actually. Cool. I would prefer that we just get pops, but I guess that's fine. We're drilling down here, right? Yes, we are. Beautiful. Okay, so we're at 27 political influence right now. We definitely want to continue to have our political influence gain go up. Tribune of the Soldier, Censor, Magistrate, Tribune of the Treasury, Augur, High Priest, Tribune of the People, Physician. Okay, so each one of these do generate political influence. That's good to know. That's absolutely fine for right now. How are we doing on getting that tech? January of 671? Okay, so that's still a couple of years out before we can get Patrocinium. Which is, I guess, fine, but we would definitely like to get that sooner rather than later. Beyond that, in civic advances, of course, we're going to be making our way down to cultural administration into servile bondage, and that's a ways out as well. We only need one of these two, so we'd go graduate of citizenship, Peregrini, and then probably going for freeman output. We're going for nobles and freemen instead of citizens. Loza became a city. Okay, perfect. And then we go for cultural assimilation, of course, and then we'd have to go for clean water into servile bondage, would be the idea. Cool. Beyond that, I would definitely not mind taking something like religious assimilation, although the best way to go for that would be to come over here and do, like, formulaic worship. That would really be the way to go over here. Or major syncretism, but I don't think, <laughs> I don't think that way is a good way to go. So we'll, we'll pass on that one. Cool. We definitely can settle Aquitania at this point. At least we get some pop growth out there. So that's fine for now. We're going to have to wait until this provincial loyalty comes up a bit more. Currently at about 18. Okay. 11 and 19%. Yeah, I'd really like to be able to build over here. That would be great. Unfortunately, we just can't right now. So we've got these two locations to build in. We can build a training camp, and the other was down here. Yep, we can put in a library. Perfect. A wealthy patron. Hmm. Two slave pops. We'll take the two slave pops. Thank you very much. For right now, I do want to think about our militaries. So 31 out of 28, 29 out of 30. We can definitely add in a cohort of archers over here in Lusitania's Legion. Perfect. So that's great. And at this point, why are these so different? Oh, because of loyal to commander levels? Possibly. Yeah, I think that's what the difference is here. Okay, fair enough. We do see a 20k stack of barbarians up here. We're going to head on up and go see about dealing with them. Shouldn't take us too, too long to get there. Yeah, they are going to be a bunch of jerks over there. No doubt about that. But that's always going to be the case. So, the Shunga Civil War has ended. Sure. We're going to continue to upgrade these settlements to cities when we can. We're going to need more political influence for that, of course. We have a pretty big need of political influence right now. Oh. We probably do need... He's the Tribune of the People. We probably do need opinion from him. That's functionally bribing him. We're going to head on up over here, and we're going to have no problem dealing with these barbarians, of course. They're almost entirely archers, and I wish them luck with that. Hmm. Where is this? Ah, down over here. So that gives us a claim on Abania. Excellent. That's actually really, really good for us. So that gives us something to attack without having to spend political influence. I love it. We're going to head down this direction. And we're going to take out these barbarians. No problem whatsoever here. They did actually not get stack wiped, remarkably. Now they're stack wiped. Cool. We're going to walk down over this way next. And we're just going to prep to attack Abania. That is a really, really good spot for us to attack. 
they're pretty disconnected from everyone else. They don't have alliances. They're not super scary. And that allows us to expand nicely in this area without coming into conflict with any of our powerful neighbors, Carthage, Rome, or Lemavisia, who are not themselves powerful, but combined with their allies are powerful. So that is absolutely great. That definitely gives us a route to follow there. So we're going to head up over here. We're going to embark. And we are going to sail on down. Hmm. Our auger died. Okay, so we need a Karaid. Actually, perfect. He'll do. So that is magnificent right there. How are we doing on that tech? December of 670 now? Okay, that has improved. Cool. So we should be able to beat these guys with just our legions, is the idea here. Although now that I'm thinking about it, well, we're going to take political approval here. Now that I'm thinking about it, we don't actually have roads built over here. We should probably go on to road build here real quick. While we're on our way over. And do something kind of like this. Okay, so that's going to take a little while to get that done, and we should have gotten that started earlier. I completely forgot about building roads down here, but let's get that completed for now. And actually, I think we're just going to come down over here, and we're going to go on road build as well, and we're just going to build a road straight down like that so that we don't have to do this portion over here. Cool. The Faith of Maguna, huh? 18 gold for 6 stability sounds amazing. We'll do it. That is absolutely great. And at this point, well, we're basically getting ready to fight these guys. I want to get these roads done first. But with both of these being worked on, that should be helpful. We should get that done relatively quickly. So that should be fine. Although, as I'm watching them, I'm realizing this is going to take forever if we're actually watching them. <laughs> So for now, let's go up to Scalabus, and we are, of course, going to build in a tax office here. No problem. We have a new military tradition that we can take. Do we want light infantry offense? We don't use light infantry outside of our levies. Shipbuilding cost or light cavalry defense. And again, with the light infantry there. Okay, what do we have in Celtiberian? Fort defense, national fort infrastructure capability, heavy cavalry morale and cost. Again, we're using light cavalry, right? Yes, we are. We're using light cavalry. So that doesn't actually help us in any meaningful way. Coming down this way might, might not be terrible, though. I guess for the time being, we'll grab the Numantine defense. That'll be fine. Cool. Cool. And let's just get these roads built up real quickly here. Yeah, we should be very close to done here very soon. So that's wonderful. I do want to go into our military. I would love to get the Legion of Lusitania up to 31. Sadly, it's still at 30 of 30. That does make me very sad. But these roads will be finished very shortly here. Sadly, this is controlled by Carthage. So we can't really uh, build a road through there yet. We'll get there. We'll get there. We're going to wait for a good opportunity to fight Carthage. We should be able to beat them relatively easily. Who are these guys that they're allied with? Okay, there's a martial advance. I don't know who these are. Oh, over on the other side of Egypt. Okay, that's a ways away. Noted. So for right now, we, of course, want to go over into our civic advances and grab graduated citizenship because we are heading down towards cultural assimilation. Wait a second. Was I dumb? I was dumb. We, we wanted patrocinium. Okay. Well, we needed to get both of these eventually, but that is definitely dumb. That is definitely dumb. So we're going to come up over this way and get this settlement upgrading. There we go. Cool. And these guys are going to build a road between these two locations. Okay. Yeah, build a road there, then build a road here, then come on down. These guys are going to come off of road built. Profane idols, huh? Um, sure. Why not? 
That'll be fine. We do need a new high priest, and that will be this guy. Cool. So we're getting our last location of road build done here. Unrivaled wealth, huh? His claim appears to be valid. That's fine. We don't need the cash. We're doing okay as far as cash goes. These guys no longer need to be on road built. Why did Carthage just raise their levies? Uh, that wasn't what I wanted. Get back here. Carthage. Hmm. They're not currently at war with anyone. What is their plan here? Why do they have levies up? That's a very interesting question. What are they pl plotting here? Well, I don't know that it really matters. I think we declare on these guys anyway. We're ready to do it now. And we do exactly that. So we're going to go in with just our legionary forces here. We're going to siege here, and we're not going to push further ahead for the time being. Okay. We're going to push through here quite quickly then. There's a few forts down over this way, but other than that, there's not all that much. Cool. They can't fight against our two legions, almost certainly. Uh, Sycovax Divicus, on the other hand, he's being a jerk. We're going to order those to disband, but unfortunately... I believe, is he in charge of either of these armies? He's in charge of this army. So we're going to have to bribe him. Very rude. We want him to continue sieging. Stop doing your shenanigans, bud. We're going to continue to siege here. So now the question is, where are we going to see the enemy army at? I don't know. We'll find out. The Pentian Civil War is over. Good for them. And of course we're at minus three because we don't control the province of Seuss, which is, I believe, way down here. Yeah, that's this province. So we're not going to have ticking war score for a while. But that's okay. I really don't think that they're going to be capable of fighting us in any meaningful way. They have no ports, so they would have to go through Carthage. A couple of uh, unsettled territories there. Interesting. We're certainly going to get this fort sieged down quite soon. Any moment now. Okay, not that tick, sadly. And we'll push in very deeply into their country very soon here. Because we need to take, like, these two forts, right? That's very high priority at this point. But we need to be able to get past this fort. Not fort. Fort. <laughs> same word. It's definitely the same word. Beautiful. Okay, so we have a new leader. That is fine. We do need a governor out over this way. There we go. Okay, so this siege is over. Fantastic. We're going to push down to here, and we're going to push to here. Now, they could theoretically hide, like, down here, and then move past us after we move by. Hello, pause menu. I kind of doubt they're going to pull any of those shenanigans, but it is a theoretical possibility. But they really probably shouldn't. Sadly, we're sitting in the same province most of the time. I don't love that. And we're going to take a while to move through here. So that is definitely sad. Hello, there's an army. Interesting. I'm just keeping an eye on their movement here. Okay. Okay. They're walking directly into us with a 2k stack. This is not good for them. They really shouldn't do that. So that stack wiped, and we're out of here. We're continuing to press forward into these two states. Okay, so with this 4k stack here, let's continue to move forward. A minor addendum, huh? Six stability for 10 political influence is not worthwhile right now. 
we're going to catch them here. So we don't need to change any orders to intercept their forces. Hello, pause menu. I keep trying to hit escape to deselect this impassable terrain, but that's not how that works. So we stack wiped that unit. Beautiful. Ah, uh, just haven't flogged. Cool. So we're going to proceed forward and capture these two locations. I believe that was probably the majority of their army that we just stack wiped there. I don't know if that was the whole army, but probably the majority of it. Did Carthage ever go to war? No. Okay. Well, have fun with that, Carthage. Just raising your levies for no apparent reason. I saw these guys moving. They might have been mercs. That's a theoretical possibility. Okay. So we managed to cap there, and we'll just proceed on southward. So all of this will get under control, and we now know that they're not hiding down here. Perfect. And let's get this siege done. It's not really a siege, I suppose. It's really more of a capture. We'll go hit the fort next. Ah, this city was just made. Cool. So what do we want to specialize this city into? Actually, we'll take 20 Democrat approval. That'll be fine. What do we want to specialize this city into? It produces wine. So honestly, I kind of just want to make this be... A research city. We're struggling to hit our research cap. So we'll do something like that. We can get another city going here, and we should. There we go. Speaking of cities... Actually, hang on. What's going on up here? This is now being occupied by Rome. Rome has attacked these guys. Okay. We'll keep that in mind. For now, that could create a a wrench in the works for us. We'll see what we want to do about that soon enough. But that'll be interesting for sure. So, I do want to take a quick look at city buildings. Okay, we've got a number of these that we can build. We can build a tax office here. We can build down over this way another tax office. What else do we have? This city, we can build a tax office. And that's actually all the gold we have for right now. So that'll do for this moment. That was indeed a mercenary force. Okay, cool. Both of our units are going to be popping in here. They're actually moving in to attack us. That's not a good idea. Okay. They're going to just straight up lose that. Obviously. Hmm. Lusitanian integration progress would go up. Are we integrating Lusitanians? I don't think we are. It's at 25.2 right now. Hang on. Let's go into our culture here and... Where is Lusitanian? Apparently we are integrating them. Okay, sure. Why not? <laughs> That's fine, I guess. So we get ourselves some gold, I guess. We'll take the gold there rather than citizen output. We're not really optimizing for citizens. So we're going to grab a library over here. Wonderful. And in Tritum Magellum, that is another library. Cool. So we're definitely... Oh, wow, 185. Okay. That's higher than I expected that to be. That's good, though. We want that to be high. We want it to be a little higher, actually. 200 would be ideal. Can we push forward here? No, we cannot make it past this fort at this time. Cool. However, these guys can't get out from over here. They're trapped. So that's great. Galicia needs a new governor, and that'll be this person. Fantastic. We're going to continue to assimilate pops. Cool. So yeah, these guys literally cannot attack, or rather can't get out from behind this siege. They have to attack us here. <laughs> yeah, we haven't contested the war goal. We're working on it. We can't get to the war goal just yet. We can only siege one of these at a time. Yep, his claim appears to be valid. So we need a new tribune of the soldiers and... The Galani family, huh? Skill 6 versus skill 9. I'm going to go with skill 9. That'll be fine. 
Cool. So that'll be absolutely fine for now. This siege will be ending shortly-ish. Shortly-ish. There's a great wonder over here, which is definitely intriguing to take. But we're not quite ready to make our way down here. We've finished this siege. That's perfect. Now we can head down. So obviously we're going to eliminate this army. I don't think that'll quite stack wipe, will it? No. It's retreating down this direction. So we'll just pursue it and it sh Ooh, hang on. Now it's retreating this direction. It turned around. Okay, that's exciting. I'm not sure where it's going. But it's going somewhere, that's for sure. <laughs> well, we'll pursue it. And it's maybe going here, here, here? I don't know. I have no idea where they're retreating to. We need to get this siege done. This siege is, of course, absolute top priority right now. So yeah, we're not currently contesting the war goal. But that's fine. We will contest the Wargle as soon as this siege is over. We just couldn't get to it, right? So that's okay. We're at 60% war score here. 7% on this siege and up to 21. Beautiful. Absolutely great. Let's see if we get lucky on this tick. We don't. We do have a bountiful harvest. Hmm. We'll see if we can catch a few. And the people should probably rejoice. I don't think we need the cash here. We'll take the stability. Wonderful. Okay, so this siege is over. Fantastic. So from here, honestly, I'm going to put these guys onto... Oh, this is an unclaimed province. Right. We need to take the actual territory before we can put them on the, onto road build. But we'll hop in over this way and fight this force. There we go. Can we catch these guys here? Actually, yes, we can. Beautiful. Now we'll come up over this way. There we go. No problem there. Oh, this is awkwardly controlled by Abania up here. I don't suppose we can get access through Carthage. 15 reasons not to. Let's send them a gift and see if that will convince them. They have nine reasons not to? Okay. That's very sad. We might not be able to get this location. It would be an awkward location to control anyway. Let's do that for now. They have 14 reasons not to do this, huh? Indeed. Now they have 13. Well, that's going to be <laughs> mildly problematic. Hang on. Hang on a moment. We could hire mercs and have them be black flagged. And walk down there. Like these guys. Now that's awkward. <laughs> At any rate, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to wrap up this war, and from there, we'll see what we want to do. I don't like the fact that Rome took this. I really don't like that. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Andy McGar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.